Hey there! Today we're going to dive into a world of wild and free spirits through a short poem. Let the winds of change rush through your soul, and let the sun kiss your skin with a warm glow. For when you are wild and free, your spirit soars high with glee. So be wild and free, let your spirit fly like a bee. Embrace nature's beauty and wisdom as you grow to become more of who you are. Be bold enough to be yourself and let your unique spirit shine bright like a star. So here's to being wild and free. A reminder that life is meant to be lived in joyfully. Enjoy this video. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay and I'm back to pop my sh again. I do have my full catalog so make sure you guys go and check out Out Loud LLC. Dot org so you can get you some journals some pens some stickers or whatever else you need um definitely make sure y'all check that out today is saturday may 18th it is currently let me not lie to y'all it's currently 2 51 um i just got dressed i have on this um i got this from tiktok shop too and also this so make sure you guys follow me on tiktok and also look at my tiktok shop showcase so i have on this little green um what you call it, a green top with this green tennis skirt. It is different greens, but I love that. I have my Gucci slides on and my Von Dutch hat. And I also have my pin on the Von Dutch hat. I really wore this outfit just like so I wear this pin. This is my Papio Ish pin. Um, Cause y'all know I be like, it's your girl Jane. I'm about to pop my ish again. So of course we had to get a shit talker pin. Like it only made sense, right? right so i'm wearing this in my videos today um i have at least six or seven videos that i have to film today so i'm gonna go to one of my favorite locations to film and get that done but y'all know how i've been saying like oh i don't have time to um talk too much because i gotta go get i need i don't got space on my sd card i don't got space on my sd card my sd card my sd card so guess what i'm gonna go do I'm gonna go get the sd card so first i'm gonna stop at best buy give me an sd card and then we're gonna be off to filming um hopefully i'm there by four something four o'clock four something and hopefully i could leave at least by eight like i don't know how long it's gonna take me to film the videos i need to film they there aren't long videos they're not long videos but it's a lot of substance in the videos that i'm filming today because as y'all know like i told y'all i'm up in my game on this shit in this shit you know and yeah i mean that's pretty much all i gotta do today like that's really all i do y'all that's all i do if i'm not filming content i'm editing content if i'm not editing i'm posting if i'm not posting i'm back to filming editing posting editing filming posting shipping out orders promoting my business like that is my life right now um especially with this transition from becoming, you know, this transition to becoming a, you know, a full-time entrepreneur, which I find so crazy because like I told y'all, this isn't my first business, but, um, this is going to be the one that's going to stay my first business. Um, if you know, you know, the queen of collection, um, I ended up stopping that due to COVID and I guess I just never picked it up. And I, that was actually the wrong time to stop. I actually should have kept going, but it was honestly a lot going on. I had to move off of campus. It was just a lot of adjustments and a lot of things going on in my personal life at that time. So, um, it wasn't, you know, easy for me to kind of pick up where I left off. Um, so, but I, I'm so passionate about out loud though, because out loud is literally me. Like, from the content to the blog to the products like I love every bit of you know the business that I am building and you know I just you know know that God is going to continue to bless me um with this business continue to you know guide me throughout this journey because y'all I'm not gonna lie um I did tell y'all I was doing the fastest by the time y'all see this my it's the fast will be over this is day two and when I say I'm not hungry I'm not hungry which is shocking because um, the reason why I had gained my weight is because I was overeating and just couldn't stop eating. And I didn't go on the Esther fast to lose weight. I really did go on the Esther fast for clarity and alignment. Um, because I was already dieting before this fast, you know, it just, it just had made sense. Like God had called me like, you know, you already dieting, girl, get on this fast. Cause you know, you need clarity and alignment. I want to start doing content days at least three times a week instead of one or two times. Cause I feel like I do maybe one. I know I do one time a time a week, 
maybe two but i really want to bump it up to three times a week so i do need to invest in more hats because who finna be sweating their wig out and putting it on every other day to film content i'm just not doing it i'm gonna be real with y'all i'm not that's really why this well honestly i wore this hat because i really want to do my hair this weekend I, this is my old little deep way wig that y'all you know been seeing in the past couple of vlogs but um i'm honestly over this week i was gonna do a new um wig this weekend but i decided not to because i did want to advertise my pin button because i realized that this was the only product that i have yet to really advertise so i'm like hmm i'm like hmm well <laughs> i'm like well <laughs> i'm like well let me just you know not do my hair and it actually worked out because i didn't really feel like doing it anyway and you know put this pin on the hat and we're gonna advertise it but y'all my outfit is actually like really really cute i look good it is a gloomy day the sun is kind of out and yeah so i'm gonna see y'all i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna see y'all when i get to best buy and yeah praying for a good content day yeah, so I just made it to Best Buy. I'm about to get out the car so I can go grab me a new SD card, which I'm so excited to go buy this SD card, y'all. Because I don't know why it took me this long to get a new one. Because I still got the SD card that came with the camera. Um, Because y'all know I've been kind of inconsistent anyways. Like, and I've only been filming short-form content for Instagram and TikTok. So, now that I'm back vlogging, I need a new SD card. So, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I've been saying I'm on an iPad, y'all, and look, they have an iPad 13 inch. Like, that is freaking fire. Because, duh. Oh, yeah, this is fire. I am obsessed. I'm gonna keep it on this stuff. Okay, let me stop playing around because I honestly do not have that much time. The place that I'm going to film at closes at nine, which is, you know, good timing. However, like I said, I have six or seven videos I need to do. So we got to get this SD card. Y'all, I'm such a tech nerd though, because, like, I know the cameras are back here, so I'm sure the SD cards will be over here as well. At least I hope they are. I think this was the one. Alright, y'all. So, I just made it to the place where I film at. Um, I'm not going to be vlogging while I'm here just because... I'm on the time schedule and I have a lot of videos to film. But I am going to do a behind the scenes on my TikTok. So make sure y'all follow my TikTok. I'm going to try to do a behind the scenes. But really for the most part, y'all, it's 5 o'clock. I really just want to get my videos done. I was just watching this video of this girl talking about how she was, you know, um, afraid of being seen. And I don't, I want to say I'm afraid of being seen. But y'all, it's so hard. Like when you've been kind of like in my from social media, it's so hard to get back on. Because I got to find and cultivate a whole new audience, child. But I don't care. I love it, though. All right, y'all. So, I'm halfway done with right, filming content. Um, I still have more to go. Uh, well, I have two more videos to do. I'm trying to be a little bit more artsy with my videos. So, I'm like, I want to do a poem because... I don't know if y'all know, but I be writing poems. And actually, if y'all notice, this vlog is going to have, like, a cute little poem part at the beginning um so i have actually three more things to do i'm glad i just mentioned that because i almost forgot to film the b-roll footage for that <sighs> this is why i need i need to be a sick and i need to be a videographer like i cannot wait to go back to atlanta and hit my videographer up like where you at i need you i need you Cause baby, when I say content days be a lot for me because I be having to do everything on my own.
But I really want to try it because I, it gives me something to do. And um, overall, I love doing it. I love doing it. This actually was some really good hair. Like, the lace is still good, too. Like, I'm going to wear this wig again. But after after this weekend, I ain't wearing it no more because I'm tired of it. But this was a good wig. And my makeup looks good. Um, let me comment. Y'all, I am so mad. My microphones stopped working. Like, what? Like, I literally threw these in the purse. They probably really don't work now. Like, I threw these in my purse so far because I was trying to film and they just wasn't working. Like, they kept cutting off, but I, char I charge these all the time. And then the case always says it's at 100%. So, I'm like, it don't need to be charged. But I always still charge it. Why the fuck is it cutting off? So I had to do my videos without the mic. So I hope they don't sound bad, which I listened to the audio over because I just ended up using my microphone on my phone, which I was trying to refrain from doing, but it it don't matter. The, the, the purpose of the video still stands. Um, but that's that's just how it is, y'all. Like that's why when you are, you know, creating content, you really do have to be ready for whatever because not everything is going to go as planned like that's just how it is but yeah the makeup eats i wish i would have brought my brush at least though i didn't but it's cute i'm gonna take some b-roll footage so i can insert in this vlog and then i'm gonna do my last little three videos i need to do and then i can head out it is it's 620 y'all it's 620 um but today has been going good so far like I've, i'm actually being productive and the fact that i am recording a youtube vlog and y'all get one more day in this vlog i love y'all so y'all should love me make sure y'all subscribe if y'all don't and head over to outloudlc.org get y'all some products follow out loud on all platforms and yeah see y'all in a second if you know exactly what i want to do then I'ma get a business too. You could bet that never gotta sweat that. 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 Content day was a success. I am now complete. It's probably like seven something. Um, still light outside, which is good. I'm about to go home now. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. No, I have to go home. See, I had. <laughs> I know y'all probably like this. Is just say she's on fast. Yes, I have to go home today, so no going out. Um, I'm gonna go home and get on live, try to give me some orders for the business, promote my products, you know, that, that type of thing. But, um, content was good today, and I feel so good to be out vlogging. I hope to continue to be out, y'all. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Y'all, I'm literally not trying to be, y'all, that lady. She was watching me film my YouTube video, um, which I don't know when it's gonna be dropping, but it's the um, how to aesthetic video, how to be a content creator without an aesthetic. Y'all, she was like talking, and I thought she was talking. Hold on, my light's still on. She was talking, and I thought she was talking to me, y'all, but the whole time she's talking to herself, like, but she's like rambling to herself. Like, I could see, like, you know, talking to yourself real quick. You know, because we all do that. I do that. I even talk to myself a lot when I'm at home, though, not in public. So, <sighs> that's why y'all really do got to be careful because mental, mental health is for real. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Excuse me. I'm tired. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. A bitch is tired. I done did. Let me see. I'm, I, let me not lie. Cause what, I don't know if it was something I didn't do. I don't think it was. I think I did everything I needed to do. Let's check. 
y'all this might be a long vlog oh my gosh y'all are getting a long vlog from me i love that okay so i did both of my thoughts out loud content so there's one two i did my poem that's three um i did two b-rolls that's four or five the youtube video six and then this youtube vlog seven so yes seven videos total today you guys i feel content um and happy so i'm about to go home and i don't know if y'all gonna see me anymore today or tomorrow but i know y'all see me on monday because i'm gonna go somewhere and take myself on like a little solo lunch date to edit um it's this salad place i want to go to because of course um i can start eating again on monday but i'm only going to be eating fruits and veggies following the same diet i was doing before my uh, water fast and yeah like this like i just feel so motivated i feel so productive i feel good and this is exactly what i needed like this is exactly what i needed nobody's gonna live right now but i'm still trying y'all um i don't know what's going on with my tiktok but they have not been pushing out my lives so yeah probably about to get off soon with that being said Today, I know my worth, and I settle for nothing less. I am respected. I am grateful for every breath I take. Today, I practice non-judgment. Throughout the day, I will remind myself that I'm favored. Okay, hey y'all. So I just pulled up to Walmart, you guys. I have a doctor's appointment I have to go to at 150. It is currently 1226. I'll stop by Walmart to give me a little parfait because as you guys know, I just got off my Esther fast yesterday, which I will explain everything about that in another video. After I leave the doctor's office, then I will be going to this salad bar that I've been wanting to go to, but I haven't been able to go because it's so far from where I stay. But since my doctor's office is around there, I'm like, cool, that's perfect. Once I leave the doctor's, I can give me a good little salad because even though I'm off my water fast, I still want to continue the fast that I was doing before. This cute little, and um, I have on these yellow sweats and then my little Juicy Couture black Crocs, this hat. Real simple but cute style. I didn't really want to do too much. I told myself I wasn't going to do a full beat, but it's kind of full but kind of not. I'm like, I don't want to go to the doctor's office and like, you know, I haven't ate in three days. Um, but I'm not even, the crazy part about it is I'm not even hungry, like, which is so good for me because as y'all know, like, I gained my weight back by overeating, you know, just eating, 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 even though I wasn't eating, um, like, bad, like, I've always had a healthy diet, I was just overeating just due to stress and due to, you know, different kinds of things. I'm definitely about to eat me a little parfait or something just so, you know, 
you know, just my health, like when they check, you know, my blood pressure, all of that, you know, it's not giving weak or whatever, even though I don't feel weak. Now, yesterday, y'all, yesterday, I was literally going through it, y'all. I felt so weak, but, you know, it was good. But like I said, I'm going to explain everything about my fast, my Easter fast in another video. So they said they had a strawberry parfait, but luckily I like bananas, so. So they didn't have the strawberry parfait that I've seen online, which is fine. Um, as long as they didn't have apples, because I don't eat apples, but they did get, have this banana parfait. I haven't tried this before, but I'm excited to try it. And I also got me a Celsius. This is my favorite flavor. This is Fantasy Vibe. It has a sparkly mandarin orange marshmallow kind of taste. I haven't had one of these in a while, y'all. Especially due to me do just drinking water. Especially due to me just drinking water. Um, I feel like I deserve a Celsius. And it's only 10 calories. As y'all know, Celsius are healthy anyways. So, yeah. I am about to sit here, eat my little parfait um, breakfast lunch snack, and um, watch Bridgerton, y'all. Listen, I'm an iPad kid. I love to watch stuff while I eat, um, especially because I call it like habit stacking. That's what I learned in Atomic Habits by James Clear. Make sure y'all read that book. Um, it talks about basically stacking your habits um, so that you are able to do what you got to do but still enjoy yourself so like of course i have to eat um so i'm gonna watch tv while i eat or watch something while i eat that way i'm not just sitting down watching something i'm kill basically killing two birds with one stone um so yeah make sure y'all watch bridgerton so i'm about to prop that up and i don't care what y'all say Ta -da. I'm on episode three of the part, episode three, season season three, episode three, but you know, it's two parts, so this is the first part, um, so yeah. Was it worth a glimpse of the balloon? Hmm? I fell off the roof before I could even see it. Okay, hey y'all, I just left the doctor's office. Everything went well. I got some blood work done. So yeah, I just pulled up to Salad Station where I'm about to give me a salad. It's like a salad bar and you kind of like make your own salad and like you pay for like, like you pay by the pound. So I thought this was like really cool, fun to do. I want to make healthy eating fun because um, I'm really converting my whole lifestyle. I don't want to be fully vegan. I'm still pescatarian, but I really want to start like, but I really want to start like being a little bit more healthier when it comes to like eating and just, you know, what I, you know, the, my alcohol intake, all of it. I just really want to be, the healthiest that I could be. Also, like, you know, I'm working five day working out five days a week. So yeah. Rock and roll sushi is like right next to here. And I'm like, ah, cause I love sushi, y'all. Ever since I start eating sushi, I cannot stop. Like, I used to always be like, I'm not eating sushi. I'm not eating sushi. But ever since I became a pescatarian, like I've been eating a lot of stuff that I usually wouldn't really eat. But it be good it be good so i'm about to go in here and like i said i'm gonna sit down edit my two reels i have two reels i need to edit so that's what i'm about to do and um yeah that's pretty much it um and just enjoy a little lunch date um by myself um and just enjoy my lunch date so yeah let's go Oh my gosh, y'all can't tell me that don't look cute inside. Like, oh my gosh, I have to come back. If you know exactly what I want to do, then I'm going to get a business too. You could bet that, never got to sweat that. You could bet that, never got to sweat that. You could bet that, never got to sweat that. You could bet that, never got to sweat that. You could bet that, never got to sweat that. You could bet that, never got to sweat that. You could bet that, never got to sweat that. You could bet that, never got to sweat that. You could bet that, never got to sweat that.
gotta sweat that. You can bet that never 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 gotta sweat that. Gotta sweat that. You can bet that never 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 gotta sweat that. I just left salad station I didn't eat all my salad as y'all can see um but I did do I posted my YouTube video I created a TikTok video for the promotion of the YouTube video and then I also created I also edited a reel that I'm gonna post tomorrow so I'm trying to post like every day vlog every week type of situation so make sure you guys stay tuned but today was actually really productive um i really enjoyed my little solo day and just my time just out the house eating healthy um editing my videos like you really cannot go wrong with just getting out the house and just doing something even if it's small and a lot of people actually sit there and eat like it was a lot of people that was eating their salads there i feel like that's like it was like like, like the perfect ambiance it's like perfect ambiance but um you guys i'm about to go home it's 4 55 um i left the house at 12 so kind of been out all day um i want to go home probably finish editing things up 
so I can kind of just be ahead of all my videos and you know maybe I could post a little bit more I gotta also figure out what else I'm filming this week and this weekend so I'm just trying to keep a consistent flow and a consistent schedule of things but y'all know me y'all know I'm gonna get it done it's traffic so that's the reason why I turned off the camera um, to talk to y'all because it's, it's traffic I'm about to close out this vlog you guys it has been a very productive week um, like I always tell y'all, make sure y'all follow me on all socials. Accepting my reality and just getting closer to God really put a lot of things in, into perspective for me because a lot of times we don't realize that we can be in our own way. And I can truly say, like, I've been in my own way. Like, this whole time God been waiting on me to wake up and to put that work in and to get to where I'm trying to go. And I love having these talks on my blogs because... I def, like I tell, tell y'all all the time, I would love to look back at all my videos and be like, dang, like you, you really did thug this out. Like you really got through it. Like you really did the shit you said you was gonna do. Like, and you stuck to the code no matter how hard it got. Like y'all, it's so hard being in this position that I'm in. Like knowing that I'm the type of bitch that I always have my own shit, always getting getting to it for real and to see that you know i kind of lost a sense of myself like it's not a good feeling and of course people around me be like oh well you're you're still um doing this or you're still doing that like you still good like don't be hard on yourself and it's like it's hard for me not to be hard on myself because i know i just really really needed this this reset and i really feel a big change coming especially with me starting my business especially with me saying like no to working jobs i'm just i'm just in a whole different mode and i hope that my journey and my story can inspire someone else out there that's watching this like i don't talk the way i talk to brag or to boast i talk the way i talk to show if i could do it you could do it too like you don't have to be in a position that you don't want to be in just because of where you came from overcome that shit it's not gonna be easy at all but you can overcome anything you put your mind to get your ass up <laughs> and make that shit happen like that's what i had to tell myself you know i didn't came too far and made too many sacrifices to just see myself sitting on millions sitting on ideas like what the fuck like no and even if that means like I have to distance myself from people like friends, family, you know, I haven't been dating, dating. I've been absent and like I'm really locked in. I'm really focused. Like I love this for me. And God is going to continue to bless me because of my resilience, because of my perseverance. You know, keep God first. Whatever it is that you want to do in life, you can have that shit. Like, you can you can have it. You just got to work hard. The problem is a lot of people don't want to work hard. Work for that shit. Oh, my gosh. It's a lot of traffic. Good, because I can talk to y'all. Work for that shit. They never said this shit was going to be easy. Never said this shit was going to be easy. And it's not. But if you really... If you really, really determined to get somewhere, if you really got something inside of you that won't rest, you gotta make that shit happen. And I'm telling, I'm talking to y'all, but I'm telling this to myself too. Like, I got some in me that won't rest. That's the reason why it's like I'm always going back to the drawing board. I'm always starting over. That's because I have no choice but to. I can't go back. I can't go another way because even if I was to take a different route, it's like I'm still gonna be led back to the route that I started and and God is gonna keep having me in this cycle until I get it right I finally figured out what it is that I need to do I finally got it right and you know like I said it, it, it hurts but breaking generational curses is hard we don't talk about that like people always be like oh I'm breaking generational curses I'm breaking generational curses but are you are you for real like, are you really talking about how hard it is? Are you really stepping out on faith? Are you really taking leaps of faith? Are you really trusting God? Are you? Because this shit can get ugly. Like, growing, healing, um, getting to where you need to get to. 
this shit can get ugly for real it can and you a fool to think that it's just gonna fall out the sky and just happen for you life does not work like that put that work in do what you gotta do but i wanted to open up this these tiktok shop packages which y'all um brand sent me some pr so let's see what i got start with the small one first um i did go to the gym this morning so that's the reason why i don't have a wig on right now i worked out so good in the gym y'all when i say i needed that workout i needed that workout like what i was just supposed to do cardio today y'all i ended up doing freaking cardio back exercises squats like i was getting it so speaking of the gym the first thing i got is these pack of shorts i'm gonna try to make this quick um but yes i have these pack of shorts oh yes definitely need it so they come in black pink a light gray and then also this dark gray which i'm gonna really need because yes i've been in the gym moving on this pack of bras oh my gosh these are so cute i love these because you know how you just don't want a cut bra because if you a little heavy on the top like me like a girl you need like a cute little breathable seamless bra and this just gives so um i got one in brown and i did they got the size i think extra small small medium and large i don't know if they got an extra small but i know it was small medium and large and of course i got a large yeah so they i got one in this color brown this color nude this color white um a lighter kind of brown and then the black i love these these would be so like cute with like you know little t-shirts or you know just breathable bras it's a little blender with a to-go lid so as y'all know i'm in my healthy girl workout girl fruits and veggies type of girl era and this is so needed like this is needed so you mean tell me i can take my fruit juicer on the go with me so this is what it looks like so basically i guess i just put my fruits and juices in here and then it's gonna juice it and it's so good because i get to take this like wherever i need to take it wherever i need to go this is gonna come with me so i have i have this professional automatic rotating curler so basically as y'all know i've been trying to learn how to curl my hair i can kind of curl with the flat iron it's not really how i want to so this is definitely going to come in handy um let me see i can show y'all oh uh, that's fire and y'all know what's what's so crazy this is pink and purple ombre my outfit is pink and purple ombre I'm excited. Oh gosh, how cute is this? You're like really pretty. That is too cute. I'm obsessed. I don't know if I want to put this up in this room. I may just wait and put it up when I move. This um package right here. So I'm gonna open it. <gasps> They're markers. So as y'all know, I just dropped my mental health coloring book. So I was waiting on these markers to come so I could color in my coloring book. And I didn't wanna use crayons. I didn't wanna use color pencils. I wanted to use markers. And look at all of these colors. So this is actually really gonna come in handy. That, look at all of those colors right here this is a thermal printer 
So basically, um, if you have to print off documents and things like that, and y'all know I just and y'all know I just started my business, so I will need a little printer. But let me print out documents. Um, but it does use thermal paper, so it's not a a regular like paper printer. So yes, I love this. I love this. Only thing I need now is the um, shipping label printer. Y'all ready? <laughs> Last but not least, I have this tote bag, which I thought was gonna be way bigger, but this is a nice little size. So um, this isn't like a just tote bag just to wear. This is gonna be like my content creator slash business bag. So when I'm going out um, editing content or just going out to shoot content or I just need to put stuff, you know, handle some business work and things like that, I have this nice little tote bag. And also has like the straps. This is actually really cute. I love this silver. Um, yeah, it's cute. Like I said, this isn't really to like wear out or nothing like that, but really just to wear because I do have my little black little fluffy bag, but I feel like one, that bag, it carries a lot of stuff, but then it don't carry a lot of stuff at the same time. So I need a bag that's actually going to hold the things that I need to hold little area where I could just go and do my business. I could plop my printer in here, pop my books, my laptop and just everything. So yeah. So that is all I got for you guys today for right now. And with that being said, I love you guys. Make sure you check the description box below for all of the information that you need to support my business. Um, make sure you subscribe to Al Lau's channel. I have some videos coming for that channel. Follow Al Lau LLC on TikTok. Follow my Instagrams and all of that. Everything will be in the description box below. And I love you guys. Stay blessed. Stay hungry. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.